two clam shelters. The Traveler, which is about 52 inches long when it's packed and weighs about 20 pounds. And this is the, uh, the Sky. It's about six feet long and it weighs like 42 pounds. This one is uh, six feet across when it's set up. And this one is 13 feet across. So these are some uh, great shelters. I had uh, my brother over last night and it rained. We had two walls on the side where the wind was coming from. And uh, the rest was open. We had a little pizza party here. And uh, what, um, you know, clam, clam really delivers on usable space. Uh, the sky is a good example of that. You know, most shelters you get, the walls are flat or they curve in, kind of stealing from the promise of space the footprint gives you. Uh, but not this one. This one does the opposite. They deliver more than you expect because the walls bow out and uh, with these uh, fiberglass poles. And I mean, this is, uh, I can't understate the psychological effect of uh, once you're inside this spacious feel, you actually breathe easier in here, you know? You take a breath and you, uh, you actually <laughs> can inhale and exhale a little easier, which is important these days. Uh, so, you know, just looking at this, you can see how much this, uh, this, this gives extra space rather than stealing from space with the walls. They give you more, which is a really nice uh, feature that I appreciate. You know, I'm sure not everybody appreciates this, but I do. And uh, the, whole, the whole ergonomics of this thing is pretty good. So one of Clam's greatest features is that they're easy up. So all you do is pull out the walls. go at first look uh, these look uh, more similar than different but there are some differences number one is you have a waterproof roof here and this one the roof is detachable so you can get a, uh, a lot more air and sunshine in there uh, at those times you want it one of the secrets to clam success is they apparently understand the wind and outdoors and by building in this X frame which is a fiberglass pole to make the X it gives you a good tie-out point. Tie out these loops uh, with good strong stakes, uh, especially on the side the wind is coming from. Uh, that's really important. I would stake them all out if it's that kind of weather. And uh, I would put the door to a side that's not facing the wind because the door doesn't have these reinforcements on them. The reinforcements are on the sides and you can, uh, you'll have a much stronger setup if you uh, face one of the wall sides into the wind. The uh, flaps on the bottom, these are sand for sand and snow. You can put a weight on here and it will stop wind from going underneath here. And you know, if you're on the beach or in a sandy environment, say like Assateague Island, uh, the sand can come right under here and uh, <laughs> make a big mess inside. You don't want that. So, you know, you want to have utilize the flaps that's, that's a, these are great features they built in i mean these guys understand you know from they understand what they're doing this wasn't designed by an accountant now let's walk around inside and get a feel the traveler um at you know six feet across they claim you can fit four people in here and i, I believe them uh you know it has a pretty nice uh feel to it right it's just uh, you know just pleasant to sit in the uh the sky uh the sky you know i really have a soft place in my heart for this one this is like a whole room it's uh it's giant has uh great features you have an attachable rain fly for this which is uh a great feature now the sky comes in a couple of different models you can get it for a lot less than i paid for it if you don't get the extras that go with it and i'll show you those extras because i used it on a fly-in camping trip i just want to get the clam shelter up so i can keep my other gear dry uh, it worked great are these panels here they have heavy duty zippers on them and they zip open and you can get a lot of cross ventilation here assuming the bugs are not too bad uh, part of the reason this weighs 42 pounds is because you have this bag of stuff which is the uh floor and the roof these are side walls that come with it Here's the wall attached. I, I want to give you some close-ups of the engineering on this thing because it's really it's really fantastic. They did a great job 
What they did is they, they really took the weather into consideration. Uh, they made a shingle effect by having this flap that's sewn into the tent. You take the sidewall, attach it here with a bungee, and then you attach the Velcro to it. it creates a spill effect for rain. Um, I'm sure this can still leak under some conditions, but it really just does show you don't have rain running down the inside of the wall, which is a, a wonderful thing. Um, I'm pretty pleased with it. The window's open. You have to come outside to open this window, and you're going to have double layer of mesh, but you do get a view out from the inside. Looking out, you know, you've got these windows. This gives you a great outdoor feel. I mean, if you want the outdoors, this, <laughs> this is going to give you a good feel for the outdoors. One of the reasons it's so heavy, you get this poly tarp material floor. So, I tend to use these uh, breathable carpets on the ground, uh, nylon carpets, you'll see them in my other videos. The main reason you may want to use something like this is uh, not too obvious. Um, in extremely buggy areas, the grass can be full of bugs, and uh, even in a screen shelter like this, it can just fill with bugs. And having a floor like this keeps them out, so this can be a very useful thing for mosquito control. You won't have that on a traveler, you know, there's other things you can do. But this is a great way to keep bugs and wetness out. Now, putting this on, I didn't fully deploy it, but the way it goes on here is there's a, a liftable flap that has Velcro under it. Here, side here. You can lift your flap. And there's Velcro under there. And the, uh, the floor has Velcro strip too, and it just attaches right to it. They've also gone through the trouble to put on these uh, buttons in the corner. You have these little buttons here, and this thing, and little toggle buttons, and there's a matching loop in the corner down the bottom to attach it to, so this will stay taut. It'll stay spread out nice and taut. But uh, <laughs> check out that sky. Is that great or what? So, um, you know, so this is another piece of capability that's included in that 440 bucks. Here's the Traveler with uh, three tables, two large tables. These are like 25 by 25. Uh, they're pretty good size, and that's a smaller one. I think that's 20 inches. It's uh, 20 by 20, uh, or 15 by 15. The small, they only come in two sizes. But here they are, there's plenty of room for two people, and uh, to have a, you know, a food table. You can fit four people in here easily. The table in the center. I'm using these uh, carpets. So, uh, a couple of things. A couple of pieces of equipment that I've had since the start, uh, several years ago, when I started uh, getting into teardrop trailer camping, was uh, these carpets uh, and these tables. I have links in the bottom for all of it. Now, this table is one of the first pieces of gear I bought for the uh, trailer. And while the surface is uh, burned and, you know, just <laughs> been through some rough times, those are all happy times, these scars on here. It is functionally perfect and it begs for more. It's Here's the uh, same three tables and two chairs in the uh, sky. And uh, you can see the uh, huge amount of room you have here. You have plenty of room for more people or more gear, more stuff. The engineering that went into this sky is just amazing. Every, everywhere I look, they did it right. They didn't cheap out at all. And they, uh, they just came out with a really nice product, very durable, in the right hands. It's not durable in everybody's hands. I'd recommend either of these shelters. For a shelter with a vertical wall that uh, gives you total usable space. Um, I think this is 90 inches tall in the middle. It's, uh, you have just this tremendously roomy feel in here. It's, uh, you really feel at one with nature. Another option with a, uh, a clam shelter like this is uh, to put in some cots. I've got these uh, very lightweight cots. They uh, fit in these bags over here, and you just assemble them. They're fairly comfortable if you want to get off the ground. So even if you have a trailer, you don't have a trailer, you know, if this is your primary residence, you can uh, put some cots in here, and you're gonna live in here. You know? <laughs> I'm going to follow my own advice and put these uh, tie-out ropes on the uh, clam shelter while the weather's good. And uh, to do that, I uh, myself, you know, knots are just wonderful. I have a, many knot books, and I only remember like one or two knots, but uh, they're really good to know. Um, in doing this, you, you can tie, a, you know, a real simple knot, and it... Um, 
it's a constrictor knot. When you pull on this, it gets extra tight, and it, uh, it can create wear. On, and this is a wind load rope. It's going to move around. It's going to be pulled. So you want a secure knot, but I want one that floats because I don't want to wear just one spot on this nylon loop. I want this to last a while. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a bowline. Bowline is a very simple knot. You know, this is not a tutorial, but it's a, it's a great knot. Um, you need to know only a few knots when you go camping, and this is a good one to know. You do it right, the knot will stand up to a test there. You know, this, this, this knot does not constrict and it, uh, it will float around as the angles change from wind or whatever or use. It'll float around this loop a little bit more. So I, I prefer something like this. And in my experience, that reduces wear on tent loops. And uh, if you're gonna tie a rope to your fly on the tent, and uh, if you're going to tie a rope to your fly, uh, this is a good one because it, it floats like this. Um, you know, if somebody fell into a crevasse and you had to rescue them, right? You know, you put the rope around them and you want to pull them out. Uh, this is a good knot for that because it won't constrict and they'll still be able to breathe. You use a constrictor knot on here and you could make it very difficult for the person on the end of the rope to breathe. You know, I, I took a climbing course and uh, we spent a lot of time talking about knots and failing knots and knots that work. Uh, so you can get a knot card. I'll show it to you. It's a couple of dollars. It's a plastic card. It's got a bunch of knots on it, all the knots you need. And uh, it's a really good thing. And look, here's the first knot, a bowline. So that knot, eh, it looks pretty good to me. Nice and secure. A good knot will, uh, a good knot will stay tied but it will also untie easily if you want to. You know, with your fingers, you can untie it pretty easily. Make things work really well with a, uh, with just knowing a couple of knots. Um, this particular piece of rope they gave me to secure this uh, clam shelter, it has a slider on it, and these are very good. Um, the sliders, once you put tension on them, they hold. Uh, and you can retighten them very easily like if things stretch if the nylon stretches out It's a sunny day a hot day or a cold day and things stretch or contract um, You can you can adjust the length very easily with this yet It will stay when you put tension on it now you can do this same thing with a knot now the traveler shares many of the same aspects um, You know it has the shingled effect for the uh, for the side walls what it does not have is it does not have a front door uh, a front wall. So you have the screen mesh just like the uh, sky but you don't get a door and I have not seen one for sale for the front. So you can cover the one, two, three, you can cover the three back other walls but you can't cover the fourth, fourth wall. But the good news for me is I do have a door for this. It comes with it, the wall set and that door fits this clam. So there's a little modification that has to be made. You don't get, on the traveler, you won't get the shingle effect for attaching the wall. Um, you know, I'd have to, so that's a problem, but not a big problem. And I'd have to sew on Velcro along these strips here to keep it up position. But I have used the wall on here and it works uh, just as is and it's okay. Uh, so that's a, that's a real plus. So if you were planning on using this, let's just say you wanted to use this as a bathroom and you need a privacy, uh, maybe not such a good choice, you know, without the front door or uh, maybe you can find a way to work it out. But this one you could completely enclose for a lot of different reasons. You know, if you're having a party in here or the weather's really foul, and you want to uh, just have the roof skylight, you know, the roof off. A lot of versatility, but it's big and heavy. So quick and lean camping, I think this is a great choice, the Traveler. That's why I own them both. Uh, more room, extended stay, various types of conditions. Uh, I think that the, uh, the sky is a pretty good choice. Uh, the Clam Sky has this detachable roof. now. Uh, I'm a long-time camper with tents and flies and, you know, and waterproofness. 
And I, I find this to be a pretty good uh, setup um, for, because you can seal the seams on here and the seams are not sewn through to attach them to ribs and stuff on the, uh, on the, uh, the clam sky. Um, you know, you just waterproof these seams, uh, which they didn't leak at all last night. I think they are taped. Uh, they appear to be taped, which is good. It's a good start. Uh, you can't trust it 100%, but you can, you know. So this detachable fly, uh, it's a plus and a minus. It's a trade-off like everything else. You attach the fly when you need it, you know, for sun or rain, and it, uh, it, it's great. Uh, having being detachable in heavy wind, some wind can get under here and flap. If you're going to go to places that have, you know, 40 mile an hour winds, this is uh, maybe not your best choice. Uh, maybe you'd be better off with the Traveler because it's smaller and has a lower wind profile. Uh, small tents do way better than big tents in heavy wind. But uh, I, I like this just for general use. If I was going out to Montauk along the ocean to camp, I might just bring the Traveler. Uh, it's not clear to me. I'd have to really think about it. Now, my friend Rick from the Vistabule, from the Facebook Vistabule forum that Steve runs, um, he uh, uses bungee cords to attach this fly and stake it out separately and he says it was good in heavy wind so it's something i haven't done yet but there are options you know you have, you're limited by your creativity here's one of the uh the wall panels and you, know, you get uh six of them with this tent with this uh clam shelter uh, again i've always loved yurts i just have a soft spot in my heart when i was trailer shopping i was originally going to go for a yurt and uh i was going to rent some land for the summer and put a yurt on it and the yurts I was looking at, I was going to buy them. I wasn't going to build them, even though yurts are pretty easy to build. Uh, it would have cost about $10,000, but it would have weighed a lot to move it. Uh, it's just not, you know, <laughs> yeah, it's good for a nomad who wants to move once or twice a year, but maybe not for somebody like me who's going to go for a shorter amount of time. And uh, I gave up the yurt plan when I went for the trailer. I figured the trailer could be used in multiple locations, hit and run camping, just, you know, having a great time, which it has lived up to that. But the, uh, the, uh, this clam shelter, the sky, has uh, kind of satisfied both sides of that equation. This sets up in a minute and comes down in one minute. It's just amazing. Uh, it, it's easy enough to dry out too once you're using it. Uh, if you have wet conditions, you have to pack it wet. Uh, you want to dry it out as soon as possible. All nylon equipment, you want to dry as soon as possible. And this dries pretty, pretty reasonably uh, very quick. It has these mammoth zip open windows on every wall. I mean, they really, uh, it's 95 degrees out and uh, these things really work. They, uh, they let the air in and uh, you know, if the bugs aren't too bad, you can uh, unzip these and they're just fantastic. So there's one here, one here, one on each wall. It all, this clam shelter's in my backyard and uh, I'm using all my camping gear out here. It just works great. You know, I should bring out a Jackery in the refrigerator and plug it in. <laughs> I can live out here for the summer. You know, if you bought one of these clam shelters and you're using it, you know, if you've taken it out of the package and actually used it camping or in the backyard or, you know, in some situation, uh, I'd like to hear from you. I'd like to hear your experience, the pluses and minuses and how it compares to other shelters. You know, I'm, I'm happy to give my opinions, but I think it's good to hear other people's opinions too. So please do leave me a comment, you know, about this clam, how it worked for you, if you had problems with it, if it's been reliable and good, if you think it sets up easy, takes down easy, you know, just general impressions. You know, I'm well aware there's always going to be one person who says, you know, I broke it in half taking it out of the package, and there's going to be somebody else who says it's the best uh, shelter on earth. But somehow I'll uh, average out all the comments and we'll, we'll kind of get a consensus of what people think.